from this raging fire that happened in Overland Park on Monday are now learning if they can actually return home. The city assessed all 25 homes that were damaged, but many homeowners tell us that they were worried that something like this would happen. 41 Action News reporter Brian Abel is live in that neighborhood, and Brian, you actually spoke with the developer of that complex today. Yeah, that's right, Rand. And he says that he's just devastated that the neighbors to his development are coming to see signs like that that you see there. The red says unsafe. Do not enter because of how bad the damage is to their homes. And then the ones that can enter, they're having to do this. They're having to sift through their belongings to see what they can salvage. The Nikoloffs are discovering what remains from the home they've been in for nine years. Lots of memories. Yeah, it's our first own house. Theirs was one of the closest duplex homes to the city place development when the massive fire broke out Monday afternoon. Do, do you blame the development for this? I cannot say I blame the development. The development had to happen. I blame the city for allowing this uh, high rises and this huge buildings being built so close to our uh, single family homes, so duplexes. The developer, Ken Block, says this is the first time anything like this has happened in his career. It was sort of a perfect storm of all the wrong things that that happened. Block says his organization meets or exceeds city codes when building and worked hard with the city and the community on the $450 million project. You always look at how you can be a good neighbor. Um, and that's why it's 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 heartbreaking to me. It's heartbreaking organization. Their neighbors now navigating a complex weave of insurance claims and disaster relief. We hope that uh, block uh, company, uh, block real estate will uh, approach us with some offer to help or to anything will be helpful. Block vowing to do just that by creating a relief fund for victims. I'm almost without words because I can't, I can't say anything that would be enough to make them feel better. Now Block says the focus right now is right here on this neighborhood, but the development, it will continue, though right now it is in the city's planning department pending approval for rebuilding. And some good news tonight, Rhiannon, and the house right there, the homeowners that had that cat that was missing nearly two days later, it was found this morning. Rhiannon. That is fantastic news, Brian. Thank you. We did